Praise the Lord. Greetings from Gideon's Army of Worship. In Gideon's Army of Worship, there is a program called 3C Meditation. We meditate on Christ, cross and Calvary. I'm so glad to share with you on some of the thoughts that God put into my heart during this meditation days. Today, I'm going to connect with you a message called, Where Are You? Where are you? Jesus Christ came into this earth in search of the lost. Or Luke 19.10 says, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. He came into this earth and not to be served, to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. My dear brothers and sisters, this God who is in search of mankind has not just happened 2000 years before only. It was revealed in the name of Jesus just 2020 years before. But I want to connect with you the great love of God, the astonishing or amazing love of God. His love is mysterious. His love is unfathomable. It is incomprehensible for our little brain to understand it. When God created Adam and Eve, He created them in His own image and likeness. I think God would have really enjoyed the creation of man because He glorified man and He made Him the ruler and authority of everything else whatever he created in the Garden of Eden. He walked with man every day. They had a good fellowship. During that fellowship, I'm so amazed to think about what all the conversation would have gone. Because God so loved man. God so loved their fellowship. And that's why he brought every animal to Adam to name Every creatures on this earth. God did a fashion parade on that day and he had a naming ceremony with man. That is his love. But what happened? Unfortunately, this man disobeyed God, erred and sinned and what was told to him. What happened? The moment he sinned, the glory left, the glory left away from him. So he went and hid himself on the trees in the Garden of Eden. Behind the trees, he hid himself. And then the fellowship time came. God was giving a voice or before he saw man where he was, his voice came, where are you? Where are you? That voice is a loving voice. That voice, the voice not to condemn people, not to condemn him. Not to find fault with him, but rather he came in search of him to show his love. Where are you? Where are you? This voice, the voice came before. This voice or the word came before. The word came in search of man. Practically, even if you are in search of any lost, lost or anybody whom you want to find, before you go, you will give the voice because the words go. Where are you, my son? Where are you, my daughter? Where are you? The same thing happened on the Garden of Eden, but in a slight twist. That voice is the word, the living word, word of love. In John first chapter, we read like this. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That word came in search of man. 
the man who hid himself behind the trees. Where are you? The word which came into this earth 2020 years before in the form of blood and flesh was went in search of the beginning man, Adam in the garden of Eden. That word is a loving word. It loves man unconditionally beyond our understanding it shows the love that word is not to condemn not to find fault not to corner him but it came in search of man where are you where are you today also the same word is ringing in your ears my dear brothers and sisters young bloods young brothers and sisters youths today god is asking you where are you how are you hiding yourself in your shame in your sin in your depression, in your wantedness, in your loneliness, in all the perils of this world, are you hiding yourself? Come out of this. God doesn't want you to hide yourself. His word is able to bring you out. Just questions, where are you? My dear friend, today there is a hope for you. The same voice which went in search of Adam in the Garden of Eden, today is coming in search of you. Where are you? Where are you? Come out of your hiding place. When Adam was asked, where are you? He answered on his physical appearance. In Genesis 3rd chapter, 10th verse he is answering like this I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself my dear beloved Satan's cunningness is to make you feel away from the presence of God the loving the warmness of God to that man there is a voice where are you and even in that circumstances Adam has not realized his mistake he Rather, he was so concerned that he was naked and he was afraid because the glory that was covering him left. In Genesis 3, 8, we see that Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. They went behind the trees on the garden. Today, where you are hiding yourself? Where are you? On the Garden of Eden, man went behind the trees. He did himself behind the trees. And you know what God did for that? And you know what the loving God did for mankind? In Colossians. 2.15 we read like this having disarmed principalities and powers he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it so on the cross of Calvary Jesus triumphed by putting his public spectacle of him on the garden of Eden man because of his sin because of his fear because of his shame he hid himself behind the tree and there is a sin of man who came into this earth and he made himself as a public spectacle before the tree man went behind the tree but God showed himself he became a public spectacle so that he can overcome whatever the things that is covering man whatever things that 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 man made himself to cover the depression the wantedness the shame the guilt the condemnation everything else Jesus Christ crucified that he triumphed them on the cross of Calvary by putting himself as a public spectacle. What a loving God we serve. Man went away from the presence of God. God doesn't leave him. God went in search of man. Where are you? Where are you? He found himself in among the trees of garden 
the voice that came in search of man, the word that came in search of mankind 2000 years ago in the name of Jesus. And that's why John 1 12 we read, whoever believe in the name of Jesus, for them God has given authority to be called as his sons and daughters. The man who enjoy the greatness, the great, great fortunes of God, the great authority ship, the great rulership, the great dominion over everything else in the Garden of Eden, he despised it. And when he sinned, his glory left, he went and hid himself behind the trees. And here is a God who came in search of man and that son of God was crucified on the cross of Calvary and he made himself as a public spectacle before the tree on the cross of Calvary so that you and I can come out of our hiding covering place. May God bless you.